All right, here we have a watch that I've been meaning to make a video on for some time. And I've also been meaning to sell it for some time. But every time I go to post this thing, I decide to wear it just one more time. And then it goes back in its box, unposted. It's a great example of a Seiko auto quartz or kinetic quartz movement, Seiko spirit. It came to me with a dead battery. That's the rechargeable capacitor, is what they call it. I believe it's an MT920. And you can see the movement in there, 5M22, and the 6A20 is model specific. Still some fingerprints there. High polish everywhere, so everything shows. And really, it's a beautiful watch. Nice uh, bit of texture on the dial. You kind of see it there. It's been ticking for oh, been a couple months now since I charged it. So that capacitor can hold the charge for a very long time. Let's see. So this is the battery button. Now watch. It's going to wait until the seconds catch up. And you can see on the right hand side, so it says reserve. The markers start at zero and they go, you know, 3, 24, 48, 72 hours. That's roughly. But it's 72 plus. So let me get to, to 10. Hit the button. So you see that went 5, 10, 15, 20. And if we look at the 0 and we go 20, then we can see this thing has at least 48 hours of power reserve. Look how those indices sparkle. That's nice. I mean, it picks up the light well. The hands, hour and minute, are sort of reminiscent of a uh, late 80s to mid 90s uh, Grand Seiko quartz. And the spirit line sort of, I'd say, sub dolce. So if you're thinking about Seiko Quartz, uh, starting at the top with Crador, and there are a few others, but loosely speaking, most of them are going to go Crador, Dolce, and Spirit, and then uh, the regular Seiko offerings. But really nice quality. And when was this set? I don't even remember when it was set, but... I guarantee you, this is closer to the time than this is. <laughs> I was a little sloppy setting this the other night. Actually, that's a really good uh, question. So it is about 20 seconds off over... Assuming, assuming I said it correctly a few months back, which I probably didn't. I was probably kind of loose with it. So yeah, the crown function works. Drilled lugs. The dimensions are great. You got a 10 mil case, lug to lug. 
in around there. Uh, I was catching the curve a little. But let's say, let's call it a 42 luck to luck. Um, now, this is the weird one. These straps are 17. So that's the only thing. Although it comes with a very nice bracelet. And uh, what else are we missing? Oh, yes, the diameter. Which is pretty easy to, to clock in because it's around. There you go. 36, 42, 10 mil, 17 mil lugs with a bracelet. Two tone. Just in case you weren't sure it was a Seiko bracelet because the clasp is unsigned. And we've only got one micro adjust. That's a little odd. In the wrong spot. It also comes with a few extra links. I guess that's their, uh, their version of half and double links. And a little tag. <laughs> no particular reason. Really, it's a great watch. Will run forever. Just the uh, original warranty card here. Let's see if we can date this. I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. I would have to go translate that. So yeah, sadly, this thing doesn't get any wear time. And I think it deserves some wear time, so I'm probably going to let this one go. Even though I just like looking at it and every time. It's, it's got to be at least a half a dozen times. I pulled this out of the box to, uh, to sell it since I replaced that capacitor and just couldn't do it. Man, it's pretty. But I do have a Grand Seiko Quartz coming back from a factory service, and... Yeah. I think this needs to go to somebody that uh, wants to wear it. I really do appreciate those uh, those hands, though, and the index markers. The high polish on there is just a really classy look in a lot of different lights. All right, and that was Seiko Auto Quartz 5M22 6A20. Thanks.